Hello, my name is Paul Barth. I'm the Global Head of Data Literacy for Click, and I'm excited to welcome you to Speaking the Language of Data. This morning, I just want to talk a little bit about the business drivers and the need for data literacy in the workforce today. I think it's a very exciting time, uh, and there's some several things driving it. First, I think as all of you know, data and analytics are a pervasive element in modern business. That is, based on this uh, McKinsey study, they were looking at ways in which data and analytics investments returned on investment across many different functions in the enterprise. Uh, and on the left, you see top line or revenue increasing improvements to different functions, such as pricing and product op optimization uh, and uh, distribution. And on the bottom line, uh, predictive maintenance and demand planning, workforce planning, and supply chain optimization. The point is, in every one of these areas, the ability to use data and analytics to optimize performance and grow your business was uh, material and significant. And it certainly is a way for individuals to move forward in their career. Now underlying this, I think it's important to think of not just literacy, but literacy in the context of becoming a data-driven business. And underlying the data-driven company is our data-driven processes, where individuals and groups use data and analytics to make better decisions that improve business performance. It sounds very simple. And in reality, the underlying process steps are using data and analytics to understand the situation you're in. Is this an anomaly? Is this some opportunity that's opened up for you? And then evaluate your opportunities and make a decision as to the best next step forward and then take action. And we've seen this optimized outcomes across many business functions, including marketing, targeting, responsiveness to customers, efficiency, and automation. Uh, but adopting this in the workplace requires upskilling, automation, and a data literate workforce. At Click, we've really invested in this. Many of you that know us as a data visualization company. But over the past several years, we've invested in the end-to-end -end ecosystem of data and analytics. And that's because we found that many of the bottlenecks to analytics were actually on the left-hand side of this chart with data, finding and freeing the data sources from their silos, integrating it, making it accessible through a self-service data catalog. And then, of course, our award-winning um, data analytics tools that allow people to quickly assemble, visualize, and understand their data. But as we brought this more and more powerful technology to bear, we found that that human factor was lagging. That in fact, many, many skills that were needed in the workforce were not taught in schools, and the employees needed some upskilling to really achieve our vision of active intelligence. And what we found was interesting in a number of studies we did was that management agreed that key decision makers and business leaders said data literacy was absolutely a priority for their workforce, yet very few of them were making the investments to improve. And we see this as a tremendous opportunity for growth. And if you drill into it, we found that this gap was ubiquitous. It was across the board. It was not just the frontline workers or entry-level workers. It was business decision makers in mid-level management and C-level executives who really didn't have core competencies in literacy. And that, again, spoke to us about a gap between what is possible in uh, today's business and where people are. And that's an opportunity for excellence. And in fact, what we found were that most organizations, according to Gartner, would find that this became a bottleneck and that they would begin to deploy formal programs to improve the literacy of their employees. So what is data literacy exactly? Well, we define it, as well as many academics, as the ability to read, work with, and analyze and communicate with data, just as you do with uh, linguistic uh, literacy. That is, you need to be able to look at a data set and understand what the numbers mean inside of it. How is it organized? What are the combinations of data that could be brought together to give context and meaning? 
Uh, analysis does not have to be uh, machine learning and data science. Everyday decisions can, be ben can benefit from having insight into the relationships between different processes in your company and the day-to-day uh, -day transactions and information coming out of your operational systems. But to do that, you have to have skills. And what we have found is that the skills and the culture of a company really determine um, your ability to advance in this area. So the skill building, which I think is a major focus of this program, is around data fluency, understanding. What are different data sets and structures? What do different types of data mean? How can they be brought together? Do you understand the concepts of bias in data? That the data is not telling the whole story. Uh, and beyond this, some analytical skills that begin with curiosity and then add on to that insight into how to understand the quality and confidence you should have in the data and insights you're looking at. Are the relationships truly statistically meaningful? Is there a lot of variance? And statistical methodologies beyond that. Not everyone needs to know how to build a neural net, but everyone should understand what correlation is and how different algorithms uh, detect that and present it and where there are some blind spots in that. The right-hand side really talks about the human side of working with data visualization, not just to understand and gain insights, but to communicate effectively. And so some of the classes we teach are around data storytelling and how do you build a business case out of the th findings you've had and to be transparent about what you do and don't know. Finally, we think that a, a, a healthy culture of literacy is one where all employees are teaching each other, that the more experienced data literate and data scientists on the staff are mentoring and bringing along the next generation of learners to provide insight and a vocabulary for approaching and solving hard business problems. One thing we know is this really improves overall job performance and business performance. That is that a literate workforce can get insights into a situation more quickly than those who struggle to assemble data and understand its meaning. And speed matters. It, the first and most important reason that speed matters is that analytics become used in more and more business situations. It's less expensive, it takes less time to do an analysis, it means more people and more processes will benefit from data augmenting the human decision making that's part of it. The second is that quicker decisions, if you can iterate on them, usually lead to better decisions because you can do multiple analyses from multiple points of view. Better decisions mean fewer errors, fewer outputs that need to be corrected, fewer customer relationships that need to be repaired. And you need to do this to keep up with the competition. We know in a digital economy, data matters and insight matters. So these are core skills for the future. And what I tell executives is if you want to keep your best employees, you'd better be investing in their literacy and their ability to do analytics as part of their day-to-day -day job. What do we mean when we're talking about enabling data literacy? Well, it goes beyond a curriculum. It goes beyond a conference or a set of 10 courses. You need to start with assessments, understanding where you are, understanding that your peers may not have the same desire for the depth of knowledge that you're going to gain, but that every needs, everyone needs a base level of data literacy, just like they need a base level of language literacy to work in a workplace. We take it all the way through online and instructor-led courses to certification because we think it's important to recognize people who've invested the time in literacy so they can move forward in their careers. And we also work with our customers on consulting and workshops because this is a transformation for a company. It is not simply a course or a simple individual bu skill building. You're trying to build a data-driven culture. And these are some really powerful quotes from customers we've worked with, and hopefully you will find the same takeaways from what you're about to launch into. The first comes in the exposure and training to read, work with, analyze, and argue with data from our first customer in this space. This is really just an introduction for them into building data into their day-to-day -day processes. And that was a powerful revelation 
But others, such as Lloyd's of London and Cooker, have found that this needs to be the way they're doing business in the future. They are really recognizing that there's a huge range of staff of their range of abilities across their staff, uh, and upskilling is a, was a critical investment for them to c remain competitive. And finally, I think this last point goes to the motivation and the impact on the employees themselves. That em uh, empowering data literacy, training the staff, and also recognizing its value in promoting and developing your employees accelerates their careers. And it enables them to make more important decisions without bureaucracy, without going through layers and layers of management and checking and rechecking, because they have done the work to confirm that their decisions are data-based and solid and can be moved forward on. This is just a little bit of a, an overview and a welcome, but thank you very much for listening. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to us as, at dataliteracy at click.com.